No trials, I sent him. I said I wanted Craig David, not shitting Daniel Beddingfield. Ah, oh, hello. So you decided to become a presenter at Fuse. All fun and games, you may think. Ha ha ha, well it's not. No, there's many things you must learn. So I will show you what you must need to know to become a radio presenter like myself. Come follow me and I will show you the delights of our studio here at Fuse. This is the lounge. Our lovely lounge. It's new. It's a lovely, lovely lounge. On the side here we have some new paintwork. Fuse a fen, obviously. Uh, we have a lovely iron over here. I don't know why we have an iron, but we do. We have a fridge to keep some beverages warm. We have a mic live light. If that's red, don't go in there, because it means someone's in there doing radio, and you don't want to interrupt them when they're doing radio. Also a red light here, that's for the office. It also means there's talking and recording going on in the office, so don't come in. Come into the office. Actually, don't come into the office, because it's only for committee. So, don't come in here. Let's go this way. On second thoughts, come into the office. This is the office, where the committee come and leave sandwiches around, and also do a little bit of work. It's where the production happens, and where the news gets put together. There's also something playing over there, and uh, a welding kit. Now you've seen the office in the lounge, let me take you into the studio. Follow me. This is the hub of Fuse. Here we have some lovely decks, some Technics, and a Behringer mixer. I'm going to play this song by the Freemasons. I like this song. Anyway, enough of that. Follow me over to the decks. My brace is falling off. <laughs> This is the mixing desk. This is where you'll spend most of your time talking into the microphones and playing out songs to Manchester. Now I'm going to show you how to use the CD players here at Fuse. Take a CD. Funk Agenda, I Got Hip Hop, my favourite. Put it in the CD player. Once it's loaded up, use this knob to find your desired track. I'm going to play track one, press play. You then use the CD1 slider on the mixing desk to turn up the volume. We can press pause. You can search through the track. There's also a play mode button. If you press this, it will play the whole CD from start to finish. However, if you press it again and it says single, it will just play one track. Now, if you look at this time button, if you press time, will show you how much time is remaining on the track. If you press it again, it will show you how much time has elapsed on the track. Also, for any budding DJs, you might want to use the slider on the side, which is the pitch. This way slows it down, this way speeds it up. And that is how to use the CD player. Always wear your headphones. Remember to always wear your headphones. And when using the mic, you use it like this. How to use the microphones. Now you come to the point in your radio show where you want to start talking. I'm going to show you how to use the microphones. We have a song playing here. To use the blue presenter mic, you use the blue mic slider. To use the guest mic, which is the yellow mic, you use the yellow slider and so on. I'm going to use the blue mic because I'm a presenter and I'm going to present. So push up the slider. 
Make sure, however, you have the on button pressed on. If you don't have this on and you push the mic up, the music won't cut out. And if there is no mu music, you will have silence. And you will sound like a bit of a twat. The silent detector will start flashing and after 45 seconds, uh, alarm will come on. If you hear this sound, you've buggered up. You silly bugger. Turn the mics on, or turn the music up, to stop the sound. So you've got a song playing, you've remembered to put the on button on when putting the mic slider up. Once you put the mic slider up, the music will cut out. Now it's still playing because the slider is still up but you will not be able to hear anything. So you must put your headphones on at this point. And when you talk into the microphone like so, you will be able to hear yourself in the headphones. Now when I bring the mic back down again, you will hear the sound again. And you can take your headphones off. How to take a call on the air. Sitting here, you'll see the green light start to flash. That means the telephone's ringing. Your co-presenter will pick up the phone, talk to whoever, whoever is on the other end, make sure they're not swear, gonna swear or be a fool and make a fool of yourself. Oh, the phone's ringing. When you have a call, pick it up where I'm sitting. Hello? Hello, I'm a caller. Can I be on air? Yes, yes, of course you can talk on our show. I'll put you through, bear with me. Once you've made sure of that, you put the on button on, your co-presenter will put the phone down, I can put this down, the person on the other end of the phone will still be able to hear what you're saying. With the phone slider, you can control when you want the person on the phone to talk. You push the slider up, with the slider up they will come out on air, with it down they will not. When they finished, you pull the slider back down again. With the on button still on, they will be able to hear everything that comes through the mics. When you want to cut them off, press the on button off. So you're getting serious. How to work all the knobs. Now I'm going to show you my beautiful selection of knobs. If you come and look at the mixing desk, this is the studio, t studio monitor volume. This controls the, mo the volume inside the studio. Here are the presenter headphones volume. They do the same thing inside your headphones. And the same for the guest headphones. Do not touch any of these knobs. They are preset and you will only mess things about. With the AB buttons, to have the decks playing out on this channel, you must have the AB button down. If it's up, then the second PC, which holds the YouTube and emails and everything else, that will come out there if the button is up, but when it's down, that's the decks. Also, AB button here, if it's down, it's iPod 1, if it's up, it's playing the mini disc. Please